Yes, guys, and welcome back to AJ Cars, and welcome back to another video on the M140. However, today's video isn't just about the M140. It is about one series as a whole, starting from 2011 all the way up to 2019, and that is the hidden features on these cars, and this goes for all of them. Now, for those of you who don't know, it is the F20 and the F21 we are talking about today. This is the facelift, the LCI, you might say. The old 2011 version is essentially the exact same car. A lot of people don't know they are literally identical. They only changed the headlights and the bumpers. The actual body of the car, the doors and everything are exactly the same. The interior is near identical as well, besides a few little facelift parts and a bit of a change on the dashboard. But the whole iDrive system as a whole, over the last eight, nine years, of course, it has progressed, but they are near enough exactly the same. So whether it's a 2011 car you've got or a 2018, 19, a lot of these will be the same. So we're gonna go through a few of them now. Now the first one we're gonna go into is very biased to autos because it means nothing to manual owners. Now we're talking about this, the gear shifter. Now, as you can see, this car is in park. So what we're gonna to need to do is we're gonna put it in drive. And what a lot of people don't know is how to get this into manual or sports mode. There is a few different ways. Now the first one, if you wanna go into manual, be the easiest is to just shift so that is straight into first gear as you can see there that works for both you can either do downshift upshift it doesn't really matter it, as you can see it's changing there and then in order to get it back into auto you literally just flick it over and flick it back and then you can see the d there that is for drive or automatic essentially so that is the quickest way manual over back and you're back into auto that is the quickest way however that is not the only meaning for this you can also that is also into manual but it's a sport mode now the initial flick over that is sports mode and not manual so you could drive this quite happily and it will still be in automatic but it's in sport mode in order to put that into manual you will have to either shift here or shift on here this is also a shifter. So I think that's pretty cool that you can have straight into sports mode without having to mess around with any buttons down here. So you go up into sport and let it come off. You could literally just, if you're driving about, you could just go bang straight into sports mode. It's still in automatic. But if you want it in sports mode and manual, you could just go bang straight on the shifters. Now these cars are very smart. BMW has essentially done everything for you. You can be as lazy as you want. Now this shifter is electronic, so that isn't its only function. So for example, you're in drive, but you put it into manual mode and you park your car, you've just driven, you've stopped. You don't need to put it back into auto and then press park. You can leave it in manual and just press park and it will do it for you. So props to BMW for helping out all the lazy people like myself. Next one we're gonna go into is these buttons. Now, if you're anything like me, or you have one of these cars, chances are you're gonna have your Bluetooth connected, or if you've got Apple CarPlay, you're gonna have Apple CarPlay on the go. So these buttons won't actually mean a fat lot to you. They don't really mean a lot to me, so they probably won't mean a lot to you either, but they are pretty cool because they're touchscreen. You don't need to press them. They are touch sensitive. These are to save your station. So you could just hover over them. And if you wanted to assign something, you would hold it down. But you don't actually have to press them. I think that's pretty cool. Now, helping out the lazy people once again, this thing right here is not just to turn in circles to scroll through what you need to go through or to go up down left right you can actually draw on this and write something down for example as you can see here instead of driving along and you want you want to put an address in for your maps you don't have to scroll through and type in click click you don't need to do any of that let's say we wanted to go to Doncaster okay so we're gonna write D on there and, and as you see it keeps on cutting out but it has written D you could write anything on it as you can see it is just a big scribble they are extremely clever with what they do BMW are 
So the next one we're going to go into is the dashboard. Now there is a few features on here that I don't think everybody knows about and that is because of this button right here, the BC button. All you need to do is press that and you can toggle through all of your settings on here. Now on some models like this one, this bit will be digital and the rest of it will be analog like the dials. But if you do have the little screen here, which is digital, you can toggle through your settings from this button right here. So this is probably what yours will look like if you just press the BC button. You can check your oil temperature. Mine is at temp, about 9,500. You can go again and have nothing. You can have your miles left in the tank. And which also is a pretty cool feature is you can have your speedo. So you don't need to look at this. You can have a digital speedo while you're driving. And of course you have other things like your miles left in the tank, your miles to the gallon, your average for the journey. It is a pretty cool feature that I don't think everybody knows about. Also, if you put this into eco mode, it will tell you how many miles you've saved on this. 3.7 miles I've saved putting it in eco, but if you want to click off that, you can just literally press the BC button again and you can come straight off it and go through all of your settings or you can have it back on put it back into comfort and it disappears but everything still works all off this bc button right here so if you didn't know you can have a digital speedo if you did want it now staying on the interior if you look under the glove box you do have a little cigarette lighter under there don't ask me why they placed it under there i don't actually know but you do have one if you want it. it seems a bit weird i mean you've got one here and then they put one and i just i don't understand i don't understand this one now the last one for the interior is the iDrive settings now there is a lot of things you can do on the iDrive you can update all your settings interior lights exterior lights the touchpad we spoke about However, there is another one which people don't know about now is the owner's handbook. Now, you might have noticed that when you bought the car, there probably wasn't a manual, like a physical manual that came with the car, like on older cars did, because everything is on the iDrive system. Now, if you just look how smart BMW are, you could literally repair your car from sat here. So let's just click on a random one, I don't know. Right, let's go to rear lights. You could click that, it will give you an overview. It will even show you how to replace them with picture guides and everything. So if you needed something doing on your car, you could literally just go into the iDrive and change everything you need to. Opening and closing, what's on here? Literally everything you need is going to tailgate. It is so smart how they do everything. So instead of having a physical copy of your guide, you could literally just go into your system and scroll through and ask any questions because everything will be on here. Another cool one is animations as well, which is really smart and they literally give you a video for you to watch. The system switches the engine off automatically when the car comes to a halt. It this is so unbelievably smart. You could literally, stability control. Dynamic Stability Control, DSC, prevents the driven wheels from spinning and identifies unstable operating statuses in your car. Now, if you do want to have a play, there is so many things to look through on here. So I would advise go and have a look because it is fun to learn new things about your car. Now, the last one we're going to go into is the key. Now, don't ask me why I have a new shape key. The previous owner had one made. I do have the old key, but they do the same thing with the same buttons. Now, this key doesn't just open and close your car. Now, this key, just like every other car, will have an unlock, a lock, and for the boot. However, if you was to hold the unlock button down, All of the windows come down. Of course, the front ones was already down. I probably should have put them up. But all of the windows come down. It's called full closure. Now, again, for the lock button, all you need to do is hold down the lock button and all of the windows will come up. So if it's a summer's day and it is really hot in your car, because as you can see, 
all of these cars are very dark inside and if you're like me and you have full leather then it can get very hot in the summer so it'd probably be best to cool off the car and that is a cool little feature you can open all of the windows in the summer and get some cool air in the car and if it does start raining you could literally just hold the key down and all of the windows come straight back up so there you have it guys they are the hidden features on your one series if you did enjoy this content make sure you hit that subscribe button and if you did enjoy this video make sure you hit the like button as well it greatly helps but thank you all so much for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video